Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I've had some requests for uh, some other instruction uh, and some people that uh, need further instruction on the written portion, written test portion of the CDL, which is the very basic first step in obtaining your CDL. And so I'm going to do some instructional teaching on the CDL basic knowledge, general knowledge, and uh, instructions on passing that test. I'm going to read this straight from the Kansas CDL manual, so it will be very valid for most states. Um, there might be a few little variances, but the general knowledge is going to be basic across the nation. Um, but this is coming from Kansas CDL instruction manual. So, without any further ado, we will go ahead and get started with section one, introduction. This section covers commercial driver's license tests driver's disqualifications and other safety rules that you must follow to have and obtain and to maintain your CDL. This is a federal requirement that each state have minimum standards for the licensing of commercial drivers. This manual provides driver's license testing information for drivers who wish to have a commercial driver's license, CDL. This manual does not provide information on all the federal and state requirements needed before you can drive a commercial motor vehicle. You must have to contact your state driver's license authority for additional information. And that is very important to contact your state in order to obtain a CDL manual that is for your state. And I will show this one again. This is a Kansas CDL manual. You must have a CDL to operate any single vehicle with a gross vehicle rating weight of 26,001 pounds or more. A combination vehicle with a gross combination weight rating of 26,001 pounds or more. If the trailer vehicle gross weight of a 10,001 pounds or more, a vehicle designated to transport 16 or more passengers, including the driver. Any size vehicle with re which requires hazardous materials placards or is carrying material listed as a select agent or toxin in 42 CFR Part 73 Federal Regulations through the Department of Homeland Security require a background check and fingerprinting for a hazardous materials endorsement. Contact your local Department of Driver's License for more information concerning this. Your state may have additional definitions of commercial motor vehicles. To get a CDL, you must pass general knowledge skills test. This manual will help you pass the test. This manual is not a substitute for a truck driver training class or program. Formal training is the most reliable way to learn the many special skills vehicle 
required for safety, safely driving a large commercial vehicle and becoming a professional driver in the trucking industry. Um, and that is what my school is focused on is that portion. But again, I'm going to focus a little bit on this to help some, uh, help people out to obtain that CDL general knowledge test and pass it. So we will move on to the commercial driver's license test part one for your knowledge test. You will have to take one or more knowledge tests depending on what class of license or what endorsement you need. The CDL knowledge test includes the general knowledge test taken by all applicants, the passenger transit test taken by all bus driver applicants, the air brake test, which must be taken if your vehicle has air brakes, including air over hydraulic brakes. The combination vehicle test, which is required if you want to drive combination vehicles. The hazardous materials test, required if you want to haul hazardous materials, as defined in 49 CFR 383.5. Five, in order to obtain this endorsement, you are also required to pass a Transportation Safety Administration TSA background check. The tanker test required for all commercial motor vehicles that is designed to transport any liquid or other materials within a tank or tanks having an individual rated capacity of more than 119 gallons and all aggregate capacity of 100 uh, of 1000 gallons or more that is either permanently or temporarily attached to the vehicle or the chassis a commercial motor vehicle transporting an empty storage container tank not designed for transportation with a rated capacity of 1,000 gallons or more. This is a temporary attached to a flatbed trailer is not considered a tank vehicle. The doubles triples test required if you want to pull double or triple trailers. The school bus test is required if you want to drive a school bus. If you pass the required knowledge tests, you can take the CDL test. There are three types of general skills that will be tested. Pre-trip inspection, basic vehicle control, and on-road driving. You must take these tests in the type of vehicles for which you wish to be licensed. Any vehicle that has components marked or labeled cannot be used for pre-trip inspection tests. <clears throat> pre-trip vehicle inspection. You will be tested to see if you know whether your vehicle is safe to drive. You will be asked to drive to do a pre-trip inspection on your vehicle and explain to the examiner what you would inspect and why. Basic vehicle control. You will be tested on your skill to control the vehicle. You will be asked to move your vehicle forward, backward, and turn it within a defined area. These areas may be marked with traffic cones, barriers, lines, or something similar. The examiner will tell you how each control test is to be done. On-road test. You will be tested on your skills 
to safely drive your vehicle in a variety of traffic situations. These situations may include left and right turns, intersections, railroad crossings, curves, up and down grades, single or multiple lane roads, streets or highways, the examiner will tell you where to drive. So, that concludes the section one portion of your general knowledge test. So, if you want to watch this video and rewatch it over and over, slow it down, however you need to watch it in order to get this knowledge that you will need for the first portion of the general knowledge test, then please do whatever you need to do. I'm here to help you with that. And then we will move on with a further furthering your education and getting your full CDL. But this will get your general knowledge test passed, which will get you an IP permit to drive a commercial vehicle with a licensed commercial driver, such as myself. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. Bye now.